Hi, my name is Michael Hamrick, and I'm going to be talking about how Ste Stephon Curry is not the greatest point guard of all time. Um, one of his biggest downfalls, and as one of the biggest points on why I can say he's not the greatest point guard of all time, is that he doesn't have a Finals MVP, and has and his team has three titles. So he went, he won three times in the finals without one Finals MVP. From the greatest point guard of all time, people are saying. That, that doesn't correlate to me. <laughs> okay. Um, if we're talking about um, in the regular season, this is what Stephon Curry shines. He's a hot and cold shooter. So when he's hot, he goes on games, like seven games where he's shooting the lights out. And But then when he's cold, he's not, he, he's, he's not even a, a player out there. Um, uh, we're going to talk about one of the one of the biggest downfalls of him, which is the 2016 Finals, the Golden State Warriors versus the Cleveland Cavaliers, where the Warriors are up 3-1, to one, and they blow it. They only have to win one more game to win the whole entire Finals, and they blow it. Okay, so I'm going to be really analyzing these uh, these last three games. So when they're up 3-1, to one, we're going to talk about Game 5, Game 6, and then finally Game 7. Um, the 2016 Finals, he shoots... 37% from the floor, he has 7 assists to 12 turnovers, and he goes he goes 36% from 3 in those games. He shoots 15 from 42, and let's break down those games further. In the fourth quarter, this is where the best point guard should really shine in the fourth quarter, right? No. He goes 37, 30, sorry, not 37, 30% from the floor, 25% from three, he goes three from 12. That's, that's insane. And then this is where you really show out. It's the final, it's the final game. The series is tied three to three. He is at home. He is at Oracle Arena. He goes six for 19 from the floor and four for 14 from three. This is the greatest shooter of all time, going four of, for, of 14 from three. And specifically in that game, it's a it's a toss and turn game. Uh, it's the leads changing in the fourth quarter. He goes one for six from the floor and goes one for five from three in that fourth quarter of game seven. And this is in, like I said, in a back and forth game where this is very competitive game where Kyrie takes the last shot uh, three pointer and closes out the series. All right. So I'm going to be talking about one of um, uh, the 2019 finals. Now, this is the Golden State Warriors versus the Toronto Raptors. Um, this is probably the some downfalls of this is that they had no Kevin Durant. Um, he came back shortly, but he overall, they didn't they didn't have Kevin Durant. And they had no Clay Thompson, which is the Splash Brothers. All right, so the series is two to one, and the Golden State Warriors are at home. He goes nine for twenty-two from the floor and two for nine from three. He goes minus eleven in that game. Okay, going on from that, that was a very crucial game that they lost. Now the Raptors are going back home in Game Six. Which is a closeout game. This is where the 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 uh, best point guard should really shine. He goes six of seventeen from the base from from the bit uh, from the floor, and he goes three for eleven from three in a closeout game. He had a game winning opportunity. They're down by one. He has eight seconds on the clock. He gets a clean look from three. This is the greatest shooter of all time. He gets a clean look from three, and he missed it for the Raptors to win the finals. And he has no finals MVP. The best point guard of all time is Magic. Five championships, three finals MVP, and three regular season MVPs. He is the best point guard of all time.